Well, my artistic journey has started way before as a kid, but I only started uh, practicing as a, as a professional artist when I uh, enrolled at Artist Proof Studio. Since from there, I've been practicing as a visual artist. I'm inspired by people, animals, nature. I look at global conversations, uh, what's happening around me. That inspires me a lot, and I try to show that through my work. In my current work, I think I've been looking at what intrigued me with, I was looking at like fish and, and octopus and frogs, so how they're so similar to how humans behave. That's how I actually look at animals. I do research first and then I look at how I can interpret it in my own way. With this work, I'm, I'm going through a spiritual journey where I'm finding healing from the trauma that I'm still going through, losing both my parents at the same time. With that, it has brought me to actually looking at water and how water can bring healing, how water can be soothing, you know. I choose my mediums based on what I want to say. With printmaking, I focus on politics, you know, because of the medium itself, it was used as a protest medium, you know, during apartheid. I think the roots of my artworks are from my dreams, you know, are from my history, are from the stories of people, you know, so I feel very obliged to, to actually tell stories that can mean something to a being. I really do think if we speak about what's going on in the world, it can actually educate people to do better wherever or to teach even the, the younger kids of what's been happening like during our time into the future. So I really do think it's a time lapse, you know, in a way it contains a time lapse. So works from the history to now, I think it's really important to, to comment on what's going on right now. Mm -hmm.